This is George from Hightech Legion. We've got a new entry in the Pontex line we're going to be taking a look at, the PHTC14CS. The new PHTC14CS brings all of the innovations that we've come to know from Pontex to the table, but it does so in a much smaller form factor as well as throwing in a couple of twists of its own. It comes packed in the standard Pontex packaging, which features the swirl design with just a hint of the cooler in the center of the swirl. Taking a look at the sides of the swirl, we see that we've got the different colors that the unit is available in. Red, orange, blue, silver, and now black. Black was previously unavailable in the Pontex line, so it is a new color in the line. Also, we're going to add LGA 2011 support to go along with the standard 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775, as well as AM23 and FM1. As you can also see, adding PWM to the fans on this uh, cooler, which the previous Pontex incarnations did not have. On the rear of the box we get a brief description in 10 different languages of what the PHTC14CS actually is. It is a lower profile dual fan cooler which, is use, which uses dual 140mm fans which can be run with or without PWM. Also comes with their patented PATS technology as well as CPSC technologies which further enhance the actual heat dissipation as well as protecting the unit from picking up outside heat within the case. Going around the side of the box we get some actual meat as to the features of the PHTC14CS. First we have PATS which is Physical Antioxidant Thermal Shield. It is an actual spray coating uh, which is a thermal shield for the aluminum fins. It's going to prevent them from picking up any heat from outside heat sources. CPSC, Cold Plasma Spraying Technology which actually helps the unit get the heat from the CPU out through the fins. It makes for better dissipation throughout all the surfaces. Dual tower radiators with five 8mm heat pipes. Dual 140mm fans with a UFB bearing, selectable PWM or not. Solar SKU mounting kit and PHNDC thermal interface material, which is one of the best thermal interface materials available on the market. Finally, on the last side of the box, we find the complete specification list. Big things to look for here, it's only 141 millimeters tall. As we said, this is going to be a lower profile unit. It's going to fit into a lot of places that the previous PHTC 14PE would not. Also, the 140 millimeter fans, 1300 RPM, using the PWM adapter, 700 to 1200 RPM. That's going to give you a range of 45 to 88 uh, CFM. Also, very quiet, 13.4 to 19.6 dBA. Inside the box, we get a look at the PHTC 14 CS itself. First, notice fans, two 140 millimeter fans using Pontex Maelstrom Vortex technology. As you can see the fins are slotted. This is going to make for more airflow with lower noise. Two fans of course are included as it is a dual fan design. And tower itself. We've got a blue tower that we're going to be looking at today. As you can see five 8 millimeter heat pipes. Very, very solid, very rigid construction of the aluminum fins. As you can see, heat pipes come up through the base into the tower itself and through. Got a very nice end cap at the end with the Pontex logo emblazoned across. Solo ski mounting kit is already mounted on the base. Taking off the protective adhesive for shipping, we get a look at the base itself got a nice smooth shiny base, very reflective, absolutely no milling marks whatsoever. Now, as we said, this is a dual fan cooler. It is a top-down cooler. So when this is mounted, your airflow is going to come from the top, through the fins, and down. It's also going to help to cool some of the other associated components on your motherboard. The way the fans are going to mount, one on top, One below for your push-pull configuration. Accessories for the PHTC14CS. First, 
find multilingual instruction manuals. And taking a look at the manuals themselves. Well illustrated, very clear, very easy to understand. Kits itself, AMD set, comprised of two retention brackets and mounting screws. Intel set, exactly the same. Two retention brackets, mounting screws, but for Intel, you will use a Pontex backplate. AMD, you will use the stock backplate. LGA 2011 adapter, accessory kit, thermal paste, fan clips, Y adapter, PWM adapter for your fans. This will actually make the fans act as PWM fans without the adapter. They will be DC uh, voltage fans. And finally, the only tool you will need for the installation comes included. The Pontex PHTC14CS is a lower profile cooler, as we had said, than the previous generation Pontex PHTC14PE. It's also lower than most of your 140mm fan uh, coolers on the market. As a matter of fact, significantly lower. It stands at only 141 millimeters tall assembled. And as you can see, it does have the dual 140 millimeter fans. Should you require it to be even lower profile, it can be run as a single fan with the top fan removed. At which point it's going to come in at only approximately 112 millimeters tall. That's going to fit just about anywhere. Of course, you're going to lose a little bit of cooling, but it's still going to be one heck of a cooler. Comes complete with all of the accessories you need for installation on any of the current uh, sockets on the market, including LGA 2011. Y adapter is included, as well as a PWM adapter, which is going to convert your fans to PWM, and that will work with one fan or two fans. So lower profile, dual 140 millimeter fans, low noise, high cooling. The Pontex PHTC 14CS.